Guy Soul Explorer here. I'm going to Pangyo today. So I've got my team money card. What? It's not letting me go through. Oh, what's up? Oh, there we go. We're through the toll gate. Okay. And today I had to take my team money card because I don't think my monthly pass would actually work here. Just got to look up at this. Um, all right. Had to look at some of the signs. One of the great things that I've always said about Seoul is that it is carless. Um, Boondang is in Songnam City, just one city south of Seoul. So I believe, okay, so we've got, um, you know, we're at Gunnam. Then we'll go to Yanjae Station. And then after that, we'll be outside of Seoul City limits. Now, a couple of days ago, oh, there's a guy taking a picture here. But, okay. I'm gonna quickly show you this. We've got a digital clock. It's all bubbly feely, that's kind of cool. I mean, my arm is not really long enough to reach out and show you everything. That's probably why I need a selfie stick. Fortunately, my arm is kind of long. Got another clock here. This train is a little bit special because it's a self-driving train. Let me show you something I can do with the T-Money card here. A T-Money card is, of course, a card that I need to get around. Guys, they've got Dr. Pepper. Okay, check this out. So, we've got Dr. Pepper here. I'm going to use this Team Money card to just place it right here. And you'll see it light up. Okay. Lights off. One more time. There we go. And, ah, hold on. I'm going to have to hold it with my knee and my other hand here. I'm going to hit that. Okay, I think we got some Dr. Pepper. So this is one thing that you can do with Team Money cards. You can use them at vending machines. Okay, great. We got ourselves some Dr. Pepper. Oh, I see Matt Maricosa has texted me on WhatsApp. Hello, Matt. Mmm, that's pretty good some Dr. Pepper right there. We're gonna get on this. Uh, let me just show you what's up. So we're at the terminus station. Right now, uh, Gunnam is the terminus. And we're gonna go down to Pangyo, which is here, D11. So we're at, uh, yeah, D7. And we're going to go down to D11. That's about four stops. This one is a little bit longer, uh, meaning like stations are about maybe two kilometers or so apart. Whereas if you get into the metro, they might only be 200 meters apart. So if you're in the central business district, they might be a lot close. They are a lot closer. Okay. Um, so while we're waiting for the train, while we're waiting for the subway, I'm going to just show you this. We've got a timetable. Now, because this is the terminus, we only have southbound trains going into Songnam and actually Suwon. Oh, that's a little gaffer right there. Little kid looking up at me. All right. So, um, with this, yeah, it's a timetable. It was, you know, weekdays, uh, Saturdays, Sundays. Their station map. So we're here B4. I think this is B4. Line number two is not that deep, so this doesn't have to be super deep underneath line number two. I guess they have another time to. Oh my goodness, look at that. It just turned from a timetable to 
a Seoul Metro subway map. It's kind of cool. So we would be about right there. And again, we're going down to Pangyo, about there, sure. People are all gathering, of course, right now. Let's see. Oh, wow. Gunnam style. Yes, Gunnam Station. There's Sai in the background. That's a really good painting. See, there's also the uh, Canadian flag represent right there, Canada. SJ Park. Park Sanjin painted that. Okay. And yet another vending machine. I could have gotten Dr. Pepper there, but whatever. Got it now. So I've really marked out all the subway stations. So uh, Gunnam, of course, going to Yanje. Yanje is on D8, which means they are planning on building about seven subway stations north of here because this subway station is D07. I like how they put the zero there. And then any other extensions will probably be like one one or something like that. So um, D meaning like yeah zero there. So again, this is a self-driving subway. You can come right up to the front. I'm gonna flip this for you. It's not as convenient as my other camera, um, my old phone, which I would be able to simply uh, flip. But what I'm going to do, I'll catch you now. So guys, you can see the train tracks down there. And when it starts going, this is going to be really fun and really cool. I hope I'm not getting the kid in the frame here. That's uh, okay. I'm a bug. It's a kid right underneath the camera there, and don't want to get him. In. There's a switch. And there's another train. So we're going southbound, but there's a train coming northbound there. And I'll pass it. And I'll probably turn it off. There we go. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Soul Explore. I could have done it like this. This would have been a little bit cooler to watch like this. But yeah, this is Soul Explore. I'm out of here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.